Next on Thunder in Paradise. Watch me drive circles around the largest truck Amarillo can fit his fat, flabby carcass into. Can you feel my heart racing? It's like human electricity, and there ain't nothing like it. I'm stealing every moment of life. Her Majesty will arrive tomorrow morning, and the Medal of Naval Valor will be bestowed upon you the following morning.
one, Crowd. Oh, so bigger than I can remember. Ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you Amarillo Dokes, the owner and lead driver of the Amarillo Monster Truck Extravaganza. It's the largest, most terrifying battle of human flesh and hot steel in the entire universe. Tonight at the Orange Blossom Arena, I'm going to take your so-called hurricane and drag him down. Jess, sweetie, you going to be okay here by yourself? Sure. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Good. Because Uncle Brew needs to go somewhere. And when I win... Amarillo is going to donate five grand to the kids of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. So come on out and help the kids and watch me drive circles around the largest truck Amarillo can fit his fat, flabby carcass into. Fat. Fat. Did you call me fat? Very fat. You call me fat? Fat, flabby. Fat. 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 Whoa, which one do you want? Do you want the hospital or do you want the graveyard? Hi. Hi. You look familiar. What we married once? Hard to remember. You look so forgettable. Forgettable? <laughs> forgettable. Darling, there ain't nothing forgettable about me. Will you autograph it for me? Why, sure, Missy. Come here. You know, you're a whole lot prettier in person than in those pictures that your daddy sent to me. Still trying to charm the women? Women in trucks, what else is there? <laughs> Over-the-counter lunatic, or you just got a death wish. Can you feel it? Can I feel what? Can you feel my heart racing? Well, I'm used to women's hearts racing. I love adrenaline. It's like human electricity, and there ain't nothing like it. Like standing on the edge, or taking the leap, or stealing every moment of life. 
And that's my second gift to you. What's your first gift? A burial at sea? Pumping the adrenaline through you. Don't you love it? Doesn't it feel great? Yeah. You know, I heard about that powerful boat you built. So I knew you were a man who loved speed. So I seized the moment. And you seized it, too. I'm Shannon Daring. Martin Brubaker. My friends call me Brew. And you... I don't need any more gifts from you. Don't worry. I never give all my gifts away at once. <laughs> Shannon Daring. You didn't seize the moment. Oh? And what moment was that? One well, more we make plans for tonight. What did you have in mind? Pick up at the hotel at six. For the electricity? I'll be there. Sparks. Definitely sparks. Mr. Whitaker, you will be standing over here, opposite Her Majesty the Queen, who will be sitting here. I will be holding the scepter thus, and standing next to Her Majesty here. She will rise, raise her scepter, and I, as Her Majesty's secretary, will announce your name. The royal scepter. Oh, lassie, might I hold it for just one moment? Emphatically, no. One does not seize the royal scepter like so much cotton candy. Oh, I agree, Edward. But you see, this little trinket is only a look-alike replica. That is why I thought I might carry it for one island moment. I cannot allow it. Even though this is just a stand-in for the real scepter, it is vital that we bestow it the same respect as we would the real scepter when it arrives with Her Majesty. Who? Stealing every moment of life. Ain't nothing more exciting. You look real. Real enough to buy me the time I need. When the limousine arrives, let the footman open the door. You will greet Her Majesty here. Uh, Lady Ashford, <laughs> must we really go through with this? In all my years of service for Her Majesty, I have never encountered anyone so curiously adverse to receiving what is such a prestigious award. I'm honored. Please believe me, it's... <laughs> it's just not quite the right time. Her Majesty will arrive tomorrow morning as scheduled. There will be tea in her honor. And the Medal of Naval Valor will be bestowed upon you the following morning. Nothing shall change that. Hey, baby, what's the news? What's with him? You know, for some reason, I don't think Edward wants the Queen to come here and give him his medal. You're kidding me. Should be the moment of his life. You would think so, yes? Yeah. But I know the look of faraway secrets in men's eyes. And Brother Edward is squatting on a dilly. He's squatting on a dilly. Squatting on a dilly. <laughs> 
Hey, what do my eyes tell you? No, man. You don't want me to reveal your Yeah, secrets. yeah, come on, come on, give it a shot. Really? Go for it. <gasps> what? Sweet boy! What, what, what? You got snuggle eyes. What are snuggle eyes? Fresh picked love. You got it. Tell me now, does the lady know? She's about to. Wow. Guess I overdressed. Yeah, well, looks like we're sort of mix and match. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I should have called you. I got this buddy Spence. He's going to be racing some monster trucks tonight. I figured instead of going to some stuffy restaurant, we could... Uh... Monster trucks? Yeah. I love monster trucks. Oh, great. My dad's a racing mechanic. No, you're mm -hmm. kidding me. But give me a minute. I'll just go change. No, 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 no. Don't change. You look... Uh... Uh, look, uh, you look mouse. Unless you're worried people will stare. Do I look like I worry what other people do? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the event you've been waiting for, that Marilla Duke Monster Truck Extravaganza! Hurricane. Hey, hey, great race, guys. Great race, Amarillo. Huh. Good job, job, brother. So where's this, uh, goddess you've been talking about? Uh, yeah, uh, check it out. Over there with the trucks. I'm telling you, man, I've never met anybody like this before. She's, uh, she's got this, uh, mystery behind her eyes. It's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Your type, huh? Sparks. Definitely sparks. She loves anything fast and powerful. What's she doing with you? Go! You were incredible out there. Absolutely incredible. Gosh, I just love to watch you run. That's awful nice coming from a pretty lady like you. Can you feel my heart racing? It's because of you. Me? Mm-hmm. It's adrenaline. Human electricity, and there ain't nothing like it. Amarillo, I need you to do something very special for me. <laughs> anything, baby. Anything you want. Her Majesty insisted that I bring the whole family, and that, believe it or not, includes Spence. Now, I knew he'd be late. I'm terrified of what he'll turn out be. Edward, relax. Thanks, Jessica. You look terrific now. There isn't much time. Her Majesty has served her tea last, so don't stand about with your cup rattling in your saucer, and don't spill any. The royal linen is priceless. Maintain a steady hand. Steady hand, gotcha. Now, if they offer you biscuits, 
refuse them, politely. They're a very dry biscuit, the royal biscuit. They may get caught in your throat and embarrass you when you try to speak. Biscuits, none. And if she asks you a question, just answer yes or no, whichever the case may be. Don't ramble on. Tea don't spill, biscuits, none. Conversation quick, sir. What? Uh, uh, oh, yes, I'll have another biscuit. Yes, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, as a matter of fact, Your Majesty, I couldn't agree with you more. The Windsor, Castle, Fire. Devastating loss for Your Majesty's art collection. It was devastating for the entire country. But it was good for morale. Uh, in a reverse patriotic sort of way, don't you? Uh, don't you think? I'm afraid not. I would go further than that, and I would say that... <coughs> <coughs> that he evoked... <coughs> Edward, why don't you have some tea? Dunkirk! Edward? Tea? Tea, Edward. Tea? Tea. Oh, thank you so much. <coughs> tea. And we you take it a step further. That was irreplaceable royal Victorian lace. I'm, I'm terribly sorry, Your Majesty. Here, I'll, I'll clean that up. No, 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 young lady. I can handle this perfectly easy. I'm terribly sorry, Your Majesty. Please, say no more. <laughs> I think I'd better go with him. We'll see you at the ceremony. Whoa, Edward, talk to me. Let go! I'm doing the only honorable thing. I'm disappearing without trace into the ocean. Why are you so bent out of shape about having the Queen around? Don't be absurd. I couldn't be more delighted that the Queen is here. Okay, choking on biscuits, taking a nosedive into the ocean. You're all grins. That's a private matter. Oh, no. You said yourself we're a family, like it or not. And families don't have private matters. For the record, I'm a fraud. Her Majesty has traveled some formidable distance to present me with a medal of naval valor for an act of heroism that I didn't perform. Uh-uh, that's not good enough. I want the whole ball of wax. All right, the beginning. During the Second World War, the Royal Navy, they used old decoy ships to lure German submarines away from unprotected Allied convoys. My ship, though, slipped anchor, and it slammed into the submarine. Here's the point. I, bloody idiot, was still on board. OK. That sounds pretty heroic to me. That's where you're wrong. You see, seeing as how it was a suicide mission, I'd fortified myself with healthy quantities of Navy rum. I was damned lucky that I was not blown to bits by the initial blast. The reason was, because I'd passed out dead drunk behind a three-foot iron gunnery bulkhead. How could I possibly accept from Her Majesty the Queen the Medal of Naval Valor for getting drunk and passing out? That's the beginning, the middle, and the end. I heard the beginning and the middle, but I don't think we've heard the end of your story. Oh, I think it's a gift she'll never forget. <laughs> Go and meet your friends. Down by the sea, soon you'll find. Eventually, you'll... Good morning. I knew the way you talked about Thunder. She had to be really sexy. And I was right. <laughs> You're not jealous, are you? Maybe I am. She's a lot to contend with, but it's what's inside a woman that really counts. Come on down here. Welcome aboard. Thunder initiate systems. Well, she certainly seems to like you. He loves the sound of my voice and my partner's. I'm sort of a menage a trois. What do you think she'd share all that intimacy with another woman? 
What you have in mind? How about the ride of a lifetime? Feel the power in my hands. Just for a minute, Brew, please. Thunder, switch to autopilot. Autopilot engaged. Come in. Not yet. She doesn't like to be handled by just anybody. Thunder, initiate security clearance scan for Shannon Daring. Hold still. This won't hurt. Initiating security clearance. Whatever you do, don't laugh. Secondary ID confirmed. Come here, sit down. Check it out. I love it. Autopilot. Autopilot. Disengaged. She's gonna respond to the slightest touch. Shannon, Shannon, 
save a seat. I already have a place. Hey, 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 wait, wait, where are you going? Don't touch me. What? <laughs> Come on, yesterday, yesterday was... Yesterday is over. It was fun, but it's old news. Time for new thrills. Time for new thrills? Come on, I underdressed. What's that? You should know. I was told it was a gift to Her Majesty from you. Yes, but my gift to Her Majesty is a Royal Dalton teapot. Isn't that a bit big for it? The Queen's gonna love it. Her Majesty's going to love what? And I've been promised the cover of the National Enquirer. What the devil are you talking about? Mr. Whitaker, we must approach now. Excuse me.
initiate systems. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, after you. Thank you. Initiating security clearance. Secondary ID confirmed. Smile, everyone. This is for the cover of the National Enquirer. Cancel that directive. Cancel. Don't move. Or what? You'll shoot me. He won't be the first. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I felt good falling for you. But the sad thing is, you'll never feel the sparks. But I did. Oh, yes, I did. And so did you. Brew. Help me get away. We'll share everything. I've already got a buyer for the scepter. You'll never feel the sparks. What? <laughs> Computer, cancel Shannon Dari. Cancel. I commend this medal to the sea, to all those who deserve its honor more than I. You deserve it as much as any man with salt water in his veins, Edward. No, doing this is proper. That makes it a little better. As if I'd shared the medal. With all the chaps, don't you see? You might want to take a look at this. Brew ran a few tracers through Thunder's computer. What is it? It's a copy of a logbook. 
from a German submarine commander who spent over two hours trying to sink your decoy ship. Two hours? Seems the British captain aboard kept running from the bridge down to this pitiful little deck gun and back, made life rather miserable for the German submarine and its crew. I did all that. I don't remember one moment of it. Navy Rome will do that to you. No matter what your condition, Edward, there's no doubt that you were a hero that day long ago. And for your service to the Crown, Her Majesty would like to confer upon you the honor of knighthood. I dub thee Sir Edward Whitaker. Sir Edward. Now that's the way to end the story. Your Majesty, if there's ever anything I can do for you. As a matter of fact. Thunder. Sparks. Definitely sparks. Next time on Thunder in Paradise. If it's the pirates that have been hitting these waters lately, we gotta move fast, because they sure do. I am not a happy camper. Another word from you and I will cut your tongue out. I can smell a buffalo.